this might just be an ordinary village. There's no monsters around. There's no sp No, that is not good. We are going to explore our world just around the base here. So, yeah, let's see. Oh, and there's actually a sheep. Great. This is one of the impact craters from all the asteroids that uh, was part of the calamity that happened here a few years ago. And we got a vampire hunter here. And there's a village. Now, that might just be as good news as it sounds in this mud pack here. But we are going to investigate it, of course. All these horses here. Oh, there's a chicken. Okay, we just take a look at the village. And then we are just going to leave that chicken on home. Oh. There's a fuck around this. What's that? That's a guard. That's from a mod called the Village Guards. See how this fuck is coming on. I don't think that's a good sign. This might just be an ordinary village. There's no monsters around. There's no sp No, that is not good. Vampire representative. This is a vampire village. And that means I can't take their stuff. I can't buy things from them. Yeah, hello, God. I think I might just nick their hay bales and things like that. Yeah. Might just uh, demonstrate this. This is a florist. That's a new NPC type. If I just try and take this, I think it'll tell me that I can't take things from... Yeah, cannot destroy village companies of another faction. So vampires are actually an adversary for me. Unless, of course, I get bitten by a vampire, in which case I can actually turn to get to the vampire side. There might just come vampires charging at me at any time. I think I'm going to leave this place with a very meager loot here. Let's see. Yeah. We're going to concentrate on the uh, getting the chicken instead. So that's a vampire village. I'm going to fight these guys later on, but not with this equipment I got right now. I need at least a bow, and I would very much like a shield as well. But right now, most of all, I like to find that chicken again. Because... I can make a decent chicken roast with that one and the other one I got. I think we can just take it. So yeah, there has been a little bit of fire here, as you can tell. So we're going to lead this chicken back. Okay, so let's have a chicken farm somewhere. We are going to make it in here. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to make a pen in here. And of course we need all the stone for other work, so that's just great. Yeah, let's see here, I'm just going to make it a little nine in all tiles and just two deep. That makes me able to jump from the centerpiece here and out, and the chickens, they can't get out. So, yep, in here, yes. So, and we're gonna put a torch up. We make one door here. We gotta make a, like so, the other. And then I'm going to get the chicken over by the hobbit. So, That should be over in a minute. I really like this place, actually. It reminds me of the uh, of the Minecraft mod from 1.7.10. It was a humongously big mod, actually, with servers and all. One of the biggest and best mods uh, ever, actually, I think. And they had, of course, Hobbit's Hole just like that. So, let's see. Yeah, you get on here. So now that'll take care of my feather 
resource problem that I of course get when I get to archery. Hello. Yeah. Yes, and the chicken farm is official. Have a nice one. That was the vampire village. We are going to fight those guys, I'm sure. I'm definitely not going to be a vampire. I'm going to be a vampire hunter. But that is in the future. So, now for the sheep farm. We uh, we got one read right here. That's just enough to get the, the sheep to follow me. If I just put in the door real fast. Here we are. Okay, let's go. And this will be my nighttime project. So, a bit about the next plan. I think it may be time to investigate that flying village that we saw in the start, because I would like to get some villagers going. So I'm just going in here and uh, tooling up a bit. Let's see here. Sleeping is overrated, but I might just want to drink a bit here. I would very much like a canteen for having more water, but that will imply having leather which of course will imply uh, killing my horses over there and i wouldn't do that so unless i find some cows or some more horses then i'll just have to do with these water bottles for a while and they of course fill up the inventory is and highly impractical so and then i think i'll just make the grindstone yeah here we are I think we put it by the fireplace here. Sneak, and then here you are. Your tool has been sharpened with 32 uses. Ding! So that will just make it like a little enchantment for these tools, and that's just a nice little feature, I think. We're going to have some fences for the two sheep. And no critters around to make my day worse. Here in 1.18.1, you have to decide between the two mud loaders. Forge is the classic one, and then you have fabric, the alternative mud loader. Many mods are made for both fabric and forge. I decided for forge because I know forge from earlier games. Now, there are two of you guys. Okay, we just start with the one then. I would like to find the other. That's a vampire hunter. Sheepy! Hello! Oh, here it is. Nice to see you. Look at all this coal up in the air. Of course, it seems like to be a, a part of Minecraft worlds that blocks can occasionally float. And seems to be just the case with this uh, impact crater as well. Now, of course, I could go and, and take that coal, but actually coal is not that much a problem. With this tree capitator and these giant trees here, I can just make an awful lot of, of charcoal instead when I need coal. So, as you know, my trouble are far from over here. It can be quite hard to get sheep to get through a one. But let's see. Yeah, thought as much. One at a time. Thank you. And you are going to live in here, which is, of course, not optimal. Here you are. And we're going to put the doll back in. And... Oh, yeah. This might just be time to uh, demonstrate a, another fun mod that I got installed here called Fishing Reel. That makes um, fishing a little more realistic. Okay, so now, let's see here. When I fish now... There should be an entity coming up, a living fish, instead of just me catching the dead fish. Come on. Yes. Oh, and then you're going to... No, 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 no. Oh, man. You are definitely mine. Come here. Pew, this mud. Okay. We're going fishing the old style. Yeah. Well, and it's nice now. So, well, that... <laughs> <laughs> that might be the end of that episode. <laughs> well, at least I got my fish.